Hello dear learners! Para sa video na to, pag-uusapan natin ang basic properties of logarithms. Ang una natin, we have our logarithm with base b of 1 is just equal to 0. Ibig sabihin, kapag kinukuha na natin ang logarithm ng value ng 1, kahit na ano pa yung value ng base natin na b, ang sagot lang natin ay palaging 0. For example, meron tayong logarithm base 5 ni 1. Since ang kinukuha na natin ng logarithm is 1, kahit ano pa yung value ng base natin, in this case 5, according to our first property, ang sagot lang natin is equal to 0. Kaya our logarithm with base 5 of 1 is just equal to 0. This is our answer. For our second example, meron naman tayong logarithm of 1. Kung mapansin natin, wala tayong nakalagay na base ng ating logarithm. Kapag ganito yung kaso, ito yung tinatawag natin na common logarithm. Automatic, kapag walang nakalagay na base yung ating logarithm, ang nilalagay natin is base 10. So this is logarithm of base 10 ng ating 1. Kaya tandaan na natin to kapag walang base yung ating logarithm, automatic, ang default natin na ginagamit ay base 10. But still, ang kinukuha na natin ng logarithm is 1. And according to our property, kapag kumukuha tayo ng logarithm, Kahit na ano pa yung base natin, ang sagot lang natin is equal to 0. Kaya yung logarithm with base 10 ng ating 1 is just equal to 0. This is our final answer. Madali lang naman yung unang property natin kasi kapag kinukuha na natin ng logarithm yung 1, automatic ang sagot lang natin ay 0. With this, makakapunta na tayo sa ating pangalawang property. We have our logarithm of base b. Nung ating b raised to x is just equal to our x. Ang pattern lang na titignan natin dito is kapag yung base ng logarithm saka yung base ng ating exponent na pinagkukuha na natin ng logarithm ay pareho, then ang sagot lang natin ay yung exponent natin na x. Again, by using this property, kapag pareho yung base ng ating logarithm saka yung base ng ating exponent, then Ang value lang ng ating logarithm ay yung exponent natin, in this case, yung ating x. For example, we have logarithm of base 4 ng ating 4 squared. Kung mapansin natin, yung base ng ating logarithm ay 4, tapos yung base ng ating exponent na 2 is also 4. Dahil magkapareho yung base ng ating logarithm, saka yung base ng ating exponent, automatic ang sagot natin ay yung exponent nila, in this case, 2. Kaya using our property 2, the logarithm base 4 ng ating 4 squared is just simply equal to our exponent that is equal to 2. This is our answer. Kaya kung makakagawa tayo ng paraan na magkapareho yung base ni logarithm at ng exponent, madali nating makukuha yung value ng ating logarithm. For our next one, meron tayong logarithm of base 5 ng ating 125. Hindi agad natin siya masisimplify kasi magkaiba yung base ng ating logarithm Tsaka nung kinukuha na natin. Kaya for this one, gagawa natin ng paraan yung ating 125. Pero given this value, yung ating 125, this is just equal to 5 times 5 times 5. Kasi yung ating 5 times 5, this is 25. And then 25 times 5, this is 125. Kaya pwede natin itong i-rewrite as logarithm of base 5. Yung ating 125 is just equal to 5 cubed. With this, makikita natin na yung base ng ating logarithm ay pareho na dun sa base ng ating exponent. Kaya ang magiging sagot na lang natin is our exponent which is 3. Kaya the logarithm of base 5 ng ating 5 cube or 125 is just equal to 3. Ganito lang kadali ang pagkuha ng logarithm using our second property. Ang medyo magiging komplikado lang dito is kapag naisama na yung ibang rules natin sa logarithm. Kaya kailangan nating alalahanin yung basic properties natin. Now, let us proceed to our third example. We have our ln of e raised to 3. Maybe hindi pa tayo masyadong familiar dito sa notation na to na ln kasi ito yung tinatawag natin na natural logarithm. So, let me write down natural logarithm. So, natural log na lang. Our ln, this is just equivalent to logarithm na ang base natin ay e. Etong ina to, ito yung Euler's number. And this is equivalent to 2.72 approximately kapag nag-round off tayo sa ating two decimal places. Kaya isulat ko na rin, our E, this is approximately equal to 2.72. Kaya kapag ka nakakita tayo ng LN, this is just our logarithm, pero ang base natin ay E, 
which is equal to 2.72. Kaya kapag binalikan natin yung ating given, this ln, baguhin lang natin siya to our logarithm of base e. Kaya ito ay magiging logarithm of base e nung ating kinukuha na e raised to 3. Kaya isulat natin to this is our e raised to 3. And kung makikita natin, yung base ng ating logarithm ay pareho na sa base ng ating exponent. Kaya ang sagot na lang natin is our exponent which is 3. Kaya the value of our logarithm of base e of e raised to 3 or ln of e raised to 3 is just equal to our exponent 3. This is our answer. As a tip lang din, maging familiar na tayo dito sa ln na to kasi palagi siyang ginagamit when it comes to logarithms. With that, we can proceed with our third and final property ng ating logarithm. We have our b na yung exponent niya ay logarithm of base b of x. Anong nangyari lang, we have our base ng ating exponent na b, tapos yung logarithm, ang base niya rin is b. Kapag ka magkapareho sila ng base, then ang sagot lang natin is our value na kinukuha na natin ng logarithm which is just equal to x. Kung titignan natin yung ating property 2, halos nagbago lang yung roles ng ating logarithm at ng ating exponent. Kaya gamitin natin siya dito sa ating unang example, we have 7 raised to logarithm base 7 of x squared. By using our property, kung mapansin natin dahil pareho yung base ng ating exponent tsaka yung base ng ating logarithm, then ang sagot lang natin ay yung kinukuha na natin ng logarithm, in this case yung ating x squared. Again, magagamit lang natin siya kapag pareho yung base ng ating exponent tsaka ng ating logarithm. Kaya this is simply equal to x squared. Then for our second example, we have our 10 raised to logarithm of 20. Again, from our discussion earlier, kapag wala tayong base ng ating logarithm, automatic ang gagamitin natin ay yung common logarithm natin which is base 10. Kaya we can rewrite this as our 10 and then logarithm of base 10 ng ating 20. Tapos kung makikita natin, we can apply our property 3 kasi pareho na yung base ng ating exponent tsaka yung base ng ating logarithm. Kaya ang sagot lang natin ay etong value na to. Kaya we can simplify this one. 10 raised to logarithm of base 10 of 20 is just equal to our 20. This is our answer. And then also, dito sa ating pangatlong example, meron naman tayong ln. Our ln, this is our natural logarithm. This is just logarithm na ang base natin ay e. Kaya kapag nilipat natin siya, this is equal to our e. Ang ln natin is just logarithm of base e ng ating x plus 1. Kaya ang mangyayari, dahil pareho yung base ng ating exponent at yung base ng ating logarithm, then ang sagot lang natin ay yung kinukuha na natin ng logarithm which is just x plus 1. Kaya by applying our third property, this is just equal to yung nasa loob na x plus 1. This is our answer. As we observe, madali lang naman gamitin yung properties of logarithm as long as magagawa natin ng paraan, lalo na sa property 2 at property 3, na magkapareho yung base ng ating logarithm at yung base ng ating exponent. Hello everyone! I am Sir Kenneth of STEM Teacher PH. Kung nakatulong sa'yo itong video na to, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa ating uploads. Bye!